Happy Wednesday. We are vlogging this week. It is Wednesday and we're starting a new series with this vlog. So basically I have anxiety and one of my goals this year is to really work toward, how do I say this? It's to like work on my anxiety basically and work on the things that give me social anxiety and not just avoid them which is what I've been doing. So in order to achieve that goal I thought I would come up with like this vlog idea where I'm gonna be like stepping out of my comfort zone and doing things that are stepping out of my comfort zone. So basically, I've made some lists because I am a list person. And the first thing I have a list of is gonna be a list of things to do that are hard for me. And I'm gonna cut them up and put them in a bag and then every week, not every week, but for one week out of the month, so our month and then one of the weeks, usually probably the last week, I'm going to pick one of these to do and I have to do that that week and I'm gonna vlog it and we can kind of see if I achieve that. So I have the one hard thing. Then I'm gonna pick one of the smaller hard things to do. These are a little bit easier. And then I'm gonna pick a fun thing, a reward to do, because I need some rewards and motivation to do this. So let me tell you what's on each of the lists. The hard list we have, work at a new coffee shop at least two times this week, which means like go to the coffee shop and like work on work. Not actually, like, be a barista. I'm sure you know what I mean. Okay, go to a new bookstore alone at least two times this week. I have um, a hard time going to places alone, so. Discover a new place to read in public alone. Go grocery shopping alone and only eat at home for a week. Try a new recipe every day for a week. Only cook TikTok recipes for a week. As you can see, another one of my big goals is to learn how to cook. So a lot of these have to do with cooking as well. Read at least two books in a genre you don't usually read this week. Work on improving a new or old skill every day for a week. Declutter one thing every day for a week. Go to the gym at least three times this week. Go on at least two dates with yourself this week. Oh, also, have I talk get that one? See, these are actually hard for me. These might not be hard for you, but they're hard for me, okay? And if you want to follow along, you can make things that are hard for you. Um, go to a local event or social outing at least two times this week. I also hope I don't get that one. So those are the hard ones that I will be actually struggling with. Okay, now here are the somewhat easier but still a little bit difficult. They're just like little micro hard things. So, give someone a compliment. <laughs> I just avoid social interactions everywhere I go, so this will make me actually talk to someone. Order your food or coffee. Usually I order it on the app so I don't have to talk to people. Make a healthy snack. Do something you've been putting off. Do a lot of laundry. Make a green juice. Leave your house. <laughs> that sounds sad, but... Some days I don't leave my house. Call and talk to someone. Start a conversation with someone new. Drive around somewhere you haven't been before. Journal for 10 minutes and learn something new. And then the fun stuff, the rewards, the things I'm looking forward to. Try a new restaurant or cafe of your choice. Work out at home. Buy something from your wish list. How about that one? Self-care day. Do a craft. Bake something. Organize something. Do something for someone else. Go buy a coffee, hang out with someone, work on a puzzle, and go buy a book. I hope I get to buy a book one, not gonna lie. That's what we're working with. It's really just to help me push myself and do things out of my comfort zone and really like reflect at the end of the year of how I've helped achieve the goals I set for myself at the beginning of the year. And if I know if I don't do something like this and hold myself accountable, I'm not gonna do it. So that's why I'm doing it like this. This works for me. And that's why it's not like so hard. Some of them. Like I could have said go to the gym every day for a week. Like that would have been hard, but I realistically know my limits. So I made them hard, but still achievable. You know, I don't want to be discouraged like right off the bat. So I'm going to cut these up and put them in little baggies. And then we're going to pick our first week of things to do. I'm actually scared, but it's a good thing. I'm like, I'm feeling out of my comfort zone. Okay, finished cutting them and folding them. Oh, Sally, come here. Anyways, 
So we have our big activities, our smaller activities, and then our rewards. And I also forgot to mention like the rules or whatever, but for me, I'm going to do it one week out of the month. I mentioned that briefly, but, and then I have that whole week to achieve these things. It doesn't have to be every single day that I do this. It doesn't have to be one day I work on one thing. You know what I mean? Like if the thing says go to the gym three times this week, I get to choose the days. I get to choose. And if it says do a load of laundry, I get to choose what day I do a load of laundry. And if I fail the one day, I can try again the next day. So I have a week, a week to accomplish these things. I'm really hoping I don't fail, at least like not like a full week fail. We can adjust the plan as we go, but I do have 12 of each thing. So enough for once a month. That's pretty much the rules and logistics there. Okay, are we ready to choose it? I'm actually scared. I'm actually scared and I think that's a good thing. But it's a good thing, I'm out of my comfort zone. Should we choose the big thing first or should we do reward first? No, I think I need to do scariest to least scary. So go from scary and then like, at least we can be happy with the reward at the end. So I'm gonna choose my big activity and pray it's not the gym one. <laughs> I just haven't been on my gym grind. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna look. Okay, try a new recipe every day for a week. Okay, I feel like that's doable. It's not the worst one. I just have to actually cook. But we got our first one. <sighs> I'm having a rush of anxiety right now. Okay, we'll save this for next month and we're on to the small activities. I'm not as scared for this. Okay, do a load of laundry. That's actually perfect because I need to do laundry. I was gonna do laundry this week anyways. <sighs> Why was that it's like so stressful? Okay, we have our small activity. I feel like, I'm glad I did the first one out of the way. That was actually the most stressful. Now we can do our reward. I'm excited. I'm excited for this one. Go buy a coffee. Go buy a coffee. Okay. I'll be doing that sometime this week. I'm going to save this for when I'm like feeling down. <laughs> I need to go buy myself a coffee. The rush of like adrenaline and like anxiety that just gave me. <laughs> but it's over now and we have our activities. And it's not that bad. Like I made all of these. I set the limitations. But it's still, still stressful for me. Okay, so to recap, we're going to try a new recipe every day for a week. That means I have to do that tonight. Because this says every day. Why did I write that? I was planning on making mac and cheese for dinner. We'll find a way to spice it up. I mean, I have to. And then do a laundry. I mean, <laughs> and then do a load of laundry. I'll probably do that this weekend because that's when I usually do laundry. And then go buy a coffee. I'm excited. Okay, so like I said, today is Wednesday. We're gonna go from Wednesday to Wednesday and we're gonna get these tasks done and I'm gonna feel great about myself. And you're just gonna follow along with me throughout the week. That means I'll have to see you later for dinner because we're figuring out how to make a new recipe and I was planning on making mac and cheese, so I'll see you for dinner. Let's discuss dinner. Okay, so my big thing this week is to cook a new recipe every day. I know what you're thinking. This can't possibly be new. It's not. I just really wanted mac and cheese tonight and my boyfriend has been talking about having mac and cheese for a few days now, so we're making mac and cheese, but I am going to spice it up and add some breadcrumbs. This is new to me. This is a new recipe for me, and in case I don't like this because I have a feeling I'm not going to like it, I, unpopular opinion I guess, I don't like baked mac and cheese. I really don't. I only like Kraft mac and cheese and maybe other mac and cheese if they're like creamy but like baked mac and cheese just has like a weird flavor to me and it's not creamy enough for me i don't know but we're not done yet i'm also gonna make brownies because this is a new recipe for me and i feel like if this is like iffy at least this is a new recipe so we can't really deny this it didn't say how to be dinner it said a new recipe and these just look too good when i was looking through the pantry i had to make these. All right, let's just start. You 
draw me in slowly Brown eyes staring at me boldly the best part. I want long talks, Friday nights, kissing by the poolside. Our dinner is ready. Do you see the breadcrumbs on there? I'll try it. Honestly, it's pretty good. I think I need bigger breadcrumbs next time because mine are really small and like really thin because they're supposed to be for like bread and chicken. It's pretty good. This is a win. And we'll try the brownies later. Okay, the brownies are done. We're gonna taste, test them out. Yeah, these are good. I'm gonna get a chocolate chip. This is a 10 out of 10. Recommend. Day one done. Okay, I'm back in this spot but it is now tuesday january 25th and it is 3 25 p.m so i've had kind of like a busy morning i take my dogs to the groomers and then i worked on some stuff and then i had to like go pick them up and then i ate lunch and then you know so now we're here and i'm starting to plan out meals for the rest of the week because i know that if i don't plan things out i'm gonna be like in last night's predicament where i'm like making brownies because i don't know a recipe to make so I'm gonna plan them out and like make a grocery list because tomorrow we're gonna go grocery shopping and get everything that we need for the rest of the week to make these new recipes so I like to do this on my notion I'll show you actually okay so right now I'm, I'm gonna use my notion and like make a shopping list I've already kind of started and then write in the meals I'm gonna do and then each meal and like each day I'll have a page and it'll be the meal so I'll show you when I'm done and it'll be making a little bit more sense. Okay, I just finished going through and picking out recipes and everything and doing my shopping list. So I'll show you like a little bit of a sneak peek. Like, and I will link this template down below if you want to purchase it from my Etsy and you can also track your meals like this because this really helps me and I'm a visual person. So. so I'll see you later for dinner. We're back in my kitchen. We're gonna be having a lot of clips in my kitchen this week because it's cooking. Um, but for dinner tonight, we're making homemade hamburger helper. Looks like that. And last night, I was smart and thought ahead with my little brain to go ahead and thaw out some ground beef. So we have all of our ingredients. We have the beef. We have pasta. I'm using egg noodles. I just feel like they look good for, for this. And then I needed cornstarch, cheese, spices. And then it needs milk, but I don't have milk. Our milk expired. So we need to buy more milk tomorrow. But it said online you can substitute heavy whipping cream for milk, but you have to dilute it with water because it's kind of thick. So we're going to try to do that. I feel like that would be the hardest part of this recipe. The recipe is very simple and easy, which is what I need. That's just going to be the hardest part, but that's just on me because I don't have milk. So I'll figure that out. I'm going to get all of these ingredients measured out because it's easier if you get all of your stuff ready and then start cooking so let's start okay now i gotta make a little milk contraption so we need one and a half cups of milk so i'll use a, a cup i don't know actually so i think i need to use half a cup of this and half a cup of water for the half we need a fourth of a cup and then a fourth of a cup of water I don't know. I think that's right. Oh yeah, she's thick. She's thick. Am I supposed to shake this? Yeah. Shake well. Good thing I read that. Okay. I don't know. That's probably good. Yeah. Way better. Half a cup. It actually looks like milk. It's definitely thinner now. <laughs> Okay, not gonna lie, it looks pretty good. Pretty proud of that. We're gonna try it. And I put a little bit of extra cheese on top. So let's see. It's pretty good. I would say like a seven and a half out of 10. It's kind of plain, I feel like. 
I think it might need a little bit more seasoning and it also said you can use like chicken broth or bone broth instead of water. So I think I would try to use one of those next time because I think it would have a little bit more flavor, but overall I would make this again. So this is a win. Day two is a win. It is 4.13 right now and I did not have lunch. So we're gonna make a late lunch, early dinner kind of thing. And I'm making a copycat chipotle burrito bowl. So it's gonna have rice. And then I'm gonna make like tomato salsa kind of, just with tomatoes and onions and like lime and lemon juice. And then I have corn and lettuce. And that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna put a meat in it. I would use like guacamole and stuff, but I just forgot to buy that at the store, so it's fine. Basically, you just chop your veggies, make your rice, and put it all together. I'm gonna eat it with chips. It's gonna be great. I finished everything. My rice, corn. I just used frozen corn and heated it up. And then we have my tomato salsa and onion. And I have lettuce, so I'm just gonna start assembling. Okay, here she is. She looks delicious, I'm not gonna lie. Let's try it. Yeah, it just tastes, it tastes good. I knew I'd like it though. This is a 10 out of 10. I'm starting dinner now. It's only 2.24, but we're doing a crock pot recipe. So it takes like four to five hours to cook. So we're gonna start it. Now we're making chicken pot pie. So that's what we're gonna make. And I am gonna link all these recipes I'm using in this video down below if you're wondering and if you wanna recreate them. So this one's actually pretty easy. I just need to cut up some carrots. I need to cut up an onion. We have frozen peas, frozen corn, chicken breasts, which are still in the fridge, three cans of cream of chicken, three cups of water, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and biscuit dough. That's literally it. It's so easy. Okay, while I'm chopping these vegetables, I thought I would kind of chat about how I feel about this experience so far, because honestly, I thought I was going to hate... <laughs> This, just because cooking has always been something that I've wanted to know how to do, it gets stressful. And I think, like, the worst part is, like, having so many tasks. Like, picking a recipe that has, like, five things going on at once is so hard for me. Like, I don't know how to time things out. That's another thing. Timing things, like, if you have a main, like, dish and then you have all these sides, like, timing out when to do the sides is so stressful for me. And it never ends up working out. So this week I kind of just picked like easy recipes. That way I would be like actually able to finish them. But yeah, another thing about cooking that just fills me with dread is like the fact that you have to do it for the rest of your life. Like I'm going to have to figure out what I want to eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the rest of my life. And then when I have kids, I have to figure out what they're going to be eating too. That's stressful. Like does it get easier? If you're watching this and you have any like staple recipes that are like easy, quick, a beginner can do please let me know like I want to know as many recipes as possible so I can just like add them to my rotation onions don't even make me cry when I cut them which I feel like it's kind of weird but oh my god I forgot I had a vegetable chopper hold the phone I was just sitting here being like oh I hate cutting all these vegetables my parents literally got me a vegetable chopper for Christmas let me grab it this is literally gonna be so much easier Okay, let's see if this works. This is like not se secure. I'm pushing down, it's not working properly. Oh, it's working now. Look at my little onions, they're diced. That was very easy. One of my subscribers recommended getting disposable gloves to use while like cooking meat and I thank you so much for that because I will be doing this every single time I cook chicken now. Ooh. Okay. This feels so wrong to just add raw chicken in there. That also is what freaks me out. Like I can just add it in here. I actually love these gloves. Thank you. Thank you so much for literally commenting that because this is saving my life right now. I would usually be so grossed out at this point. 
Okay, this is what it looks like. Now we have to cook it on high for four hours. I'm back in the car. Prepare yourselves. <laughs> I'm actually scared to try. <laughs> it's coffee. This is in fact coffee. And I tried to do something different and I should not. I just should not have done that. I just stuck with my usual drink. What is that? Why is this so red? Like, they literally put this drink in that I didn't know it was mine. Like, I was like, that's not mine. But then I heard it registered in my brain what they said, and I was like, oh, that's mine. I got a cold brew, which is what I usually do, with cream, and I usually get vanilla, but I got the pink velvet swirl. Last year, I remember getting, like, some type of pink velvet swirl drink, and it just tastes like vanilla. But it didn't look like this. This just probably tastes good. If not, I'm gonna cry. Mm. It's not bad, actually. It's just too strong. Like, you don't need this much pink. It's drinkable. It's actually not as bad as it looks. It looks terrible. I'm gonna drink it, but I don't know if I'll get it again, honestly. So I failed the first week of this challenge. I have a few thoughts. In hindsight, cooking every single day for a week, it's just, first of all, it's not realistic for someone like me. And second of all, it's just not practical for me because it's just me and my boyfriend eating and we have so many leftovers and it's just been overwhelming. And I don't wanna keep like making things if we're not, like I don't wanna be wasteful, you know? I don't want them to go bad before we can even eat them. So that was like kind of why I didn't make food yesterday and I went out for lunch like kind of last minute. It was just kind of like a crazy day. Overall, I just failed yesterday. I failed. We're moving on. I'm a little bit sad about it, but I'm trying to move past it. So my plan today, well actually, my plan Sunday was to make brunch. I never even clarified that. I was gonna make brunch. I forgot my boyfriend worked early that day, so I didn't make brunch. I was like, it's fine, I'll just make dinner. I went out for lunch, came home late, didn't make dinner, yada yada yada. I just kind of explained that. So today is Monday and i was going to make dinner but since we just have so many leftovers i just don't think it's like practical it's just not ideal to be making like all these meals and i it's definitely my fault too because i'm not making smaller portions i'm like just looking at the recipe and making it like the one the chicken pot pie recipe is like <laughs> so huge for just two people so that's gonna last us a while but the chicken pot pie slays as a matter of fact it is so good i recommend that one the most so far. That's been my favorite recipe. It was a 10 out of 10. I don't know if I ever reviewed it because it's been crazy, but it was really good. But I should have used my brain when making that and been like, okay, cooking every single day for a week is going to provide a lot of food that only two people are going to be eating. So it's fine. We're moving on. I did do this load of laundry earlier today that you saw so we can almost check this off the list. I'm going to fold it now. I was supposed to be folding when I was talking and then I did not do that. So yeah. And then I also got coffee yesterday what you saw so that checks off two things well that checks off the coffee thing and then laundry's almost done after i'm done folding it that coffee actually grew on me as a matter of fact once you like shook it up and like mixed it mixed up the syrup it got a lot better and it was just really pink though it was alarming we're gonna make tea i've never had tea before and for some reason i've just been wanting like a beverage at night especially with like the cold weather i just want like a warm beverage i can drink like while i read my book at night time it's 7.55 right now so i'm like let's just try some tea like does it count for this video really like cooking so no it's not really the same but i'm gonna count it because i've mentioned i have too much food in my fridge so we're gonna have tea i think this could be fun i want one that is like nighttime sleepy tea i don't want it to have caffeine like i'm scared of that i don't need caffeine right now sweet dreams maybe this one Sweet dreams of a man. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, let me ask my sister. She's a she's a tea connoisseur. We got a lot of English breakfast. That must be a good kind. But it feels wrong to have English breakfast at 8 p.m. <laughs> that is strong. Matt, if you're watching this, you're taking forever to answer. I was like, she answered me. So take the little tea bag out of your circle, open that, put 
put the tea bag in the cup and then let the boiling water onto it. It's okay. Kind of like hot chocolate. You put it in, the, but don't like open, open the bag, but don't open like the tea bag that's inside of that. Put that in. Got that part. And then let the water go and then let it sit with the tea bag in it for like three to five minutes you can put honey in it while it's steeping but let it steep otherwise it'll just taste like warm water and then yeah now you're giving me a whole explanation that's why she took so long sorry to complain thank you queen all right let me start this tea okay the tea's ready now let me show you It smells very, it smells very earthy. That's what it looks like. I feel like we need to like add some things because I'm not quite sure about the smell. Honey, I'm gonna add like quite a bit. Quite a bit. The fact that it's like red concerns me a tad bit. I feel like I should add like milk or something to it as well. I've seen people do that. Sweet dreams are made of this. I have that in my head, sorry. It's so unbearable, I bet, to listen to. Oh, maybe I should not have done that. Maybe this is the wrong tea to add milk to. I've seen people add milk to tea. Am I wrong? It looks now just milky water. I'll show you. Can you see that? Doesn't that look so appetizing? It's actually, it's actually fine. She said, kind of a London, <laughs> kind of a London fog moment. I don't know what that means, but it's got the word London in it and I'm a fan of that. So it's a sleigh. I like it with milk. Okay, cheers. I'm going to drink my tea, read my book, and then go to bed. This is your sign to try something new. Try tea if you haven't tried it. Maybe you'll have like a new beverage. I would like love to become a tea girl and like make tea every night. Have my little warm beverage and like read my book before bed. Like that's why I wanted to try it in the first place. So I'm very glad and happy with these results. And you should try something new. If you're at this far in the vlog, go try something new and tell me about it. And it's officially the end of this vlog. I know it was a long one. And I kind of want to just really quickly reflect on the week and what I learn when I read the card. So the card actually says, try a new recipe every day for a week. I just assumed while reading that, that I had meant, and I did write the card, so like, I guess I did mean it, that I was going to be cooking dinner every day for a week. And so as you saw, like throughout the week, I tried to incorporate different things like tea and what else did I do? I did something else. Oh, like brownies and stuff. But a majority of the time I did dinner because that's the thing I need most help with and that's the things that I wanted to like really make myself do. And I just ended up with way too much food. So so yeah, that is the only reason like I didn't really achieve this fully, but I still did a lot of meals. I'm still proud of myself for basically accomplishing this. And I did accomplish the do a load of laundry and go buy coffee. So that's a win. And I do think that like doing this with the picking out things to do in the bags is actually helpful for me because it makes me accountable and it makes it a little bit more fun even though I was stressing picking them out after I'm like oh I'm actually kind of looking forward to the next time I get to pick out a card. Yeah I learned a lot. I really love the vegetable chopper and the gloves. The gloves are lifesaver. If you're scared of cooking with meat or anything buy gloves. I think this was overall a good experience and I'm hoping that the next time we do this challenge next month will be even better and I'll learn as we go and adapt and you guys can give me recommendations and we can all step out of our comfort zones this year and achieve our goals and become better people. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you've made it to this point, I love you. Thank you so much. And comment some of your favorite recipes or just comment literally anything. I'd love to hear your thoughts and I'll see you really soon with another video. Mm -hmm.